Hi, it's Vicky with Corel Draw X6, the new version of Corel Draw that's out in stores and also sold here at Condi Systems. And I have uh, reviewed and found some new tools that you might be interested in, so I thought I would share with you in some of my videos. And there's four new tools over here in the toolbar, features within the toolbar that I've been demonstrating in, uh, in videos. Very basic information using just uh, shapes from my toolbar. Um, one of the new tools I'm going to demonstrate today is the attract tool and it's um, it's found just under your pick tool here. That's your pick tool. Your attract tool is here. If you can't find it, hover over it. You might see the shape tool. Hover over, come down, get your attract tool by clicking on it. it gives you a, a nib, is what they call it in Corel which is the radius you see here moving with my mouse. And uh, you can make the nib bigger or smaller by simply holding your shift key, clicking on your left uh, click on your mouse, and dragging your mouse to make it bigger, dragging outward, dragging inward to make it smaller. So you can go as small as you want. You can also change your point size here if you choose to do so. Uh, you can use pin pressure here as well, which will um, do other different things. Or, uh, pressure as to how precise your uh, your instrument or your tool will work. Uh, these are fancy features you can use within the attract tool. So again, I'm going to make my my uh, nib somewhat bigger so that we can demonstrate well. Um, you can also move it here to make to resize your nib. Um, this is the radius. This is your pin pressure. So anytime you click a tool over here, it's going to give you different menus within that tool. See how these menus change? Well, you got a couple of options under the uh, track tool, and um, you can play with this to perfect, you know, your ability to use this tool. Again, this is a basic demonstration. Uh, you could use this with vector images, uh, nice graphics to create some really uh, unique um, features within a graphic. It's a great tool. It's brand new in Corel X6. So let's get started. I've got an average size nib here. So I'm just going to first make sure you selected your object, which is our square. And um, with that selected, you can choose your attract tool, come over here, and just start clicking just to see what you could do. You can also drag it, precise points, and again, this is your um, pressure tool, so uh, you can use pressure to get even sharper points. And if you just hold your mouse over a corner or something, it'll and without doing anything, it'll reshape something for you as well. So that's how that works. So you can also go from the outside in or the inside out. So you can go either way with this. It's a great tool uh, to play around with. If you make your nib smaller, you can get more precise with your shapes. Uh, used to in X4 and X5, you had to grab the nodes here. These are your nodes, these little squares, and go around and pull and form these shapes to the way that you needed them for your graphics. But with the new feature in X6, you can save some time by using this tool, doing the same thing as you did in X4 with the nodes. Um, so again, that's how you use the Attract tool in Corel X6. And with fancy graphics, you can do some amazing things. So I was happy to demonstrate that for you. If you have any questions, anything you need to ask, you can call. My name is Vicki. I'm here at Condi Systems in the Tech Support Department and just demonstrating some new features in Corel X6. Thank you for your time.